Welcome to Waterloo Engineering. My name is Fraser, and on behalf of the University of Waterloo Robotics team, we are proud to introduce you to our 2019 URC Mars Rover. Over 55 members from four faculties and more than 10 disciplines have put in countless hours designing, building, and programming our 2019 rover. These students are divided into five main sub-teams being mechanical, electrical, software, science, and business. Since mid-February, the team has been conducting system-level testing and task simulation, developing environments to mimic competition as closely as possible. Our drivetrain features a six-wheel rocker bogey suspension system. It was selected for its ability to clear large obstacles and dampen frame movements. Each wheel is independently powered by an internal gearbox, which allows for modular service lead. The rover is able to overcome 12 inch obstacles and has a top speed of 10 feet per second. Three front facing cameras allow for an ultra wide field of view using image stitching that can be fine tuned by changing outside camera angles. A gimbal is also used on the back of the rover for a third person view available during all challenges. A rover consists of a worm-driven 6 degrees of freedom articulated robotic arm for fine-tuned accuracy and a maximum payload of 5 kilograms. Due to backlash issues in previous years, we have replaced D-shafts and set screw couplings with keyed shafts and keyless bushings for maximum accuracy. A multi-axle wrist was developed using a bevel gear, differential and a slip ring to decrease the wrist length and enable the arm to reach in small spaces. Absolute encoders are mounted directly to every joint for inverse kinematics with limit switches for hard stops. The rover's entire electrical system is powered by one 24 volt lithium ion battery, which is capable of providing 15 amps of continuous current draw for almost two hours. There are two 24 to 12 volt converters on the rover. One delivers power to the Jetson, camera, sensors, and other digital peripherals while the other one delivers power to the ARM and science module motors. We also monitor the voltage and current of the battery using our custom-designed safety board and current sensors. For the rover's main PC, we're using an NVIDIA Jetson TX2 due to its processing power required for our algorithms and due to its CAN bus support required for our peripheral interfacing. We're using ROS to break down the software stack into many subcomponents and to facilitate message passing between all these subcomponents. We wanted the control of our new rover to be simple and intuitive, so we designed a brand new graphical user interface. This supports viewing all important data coming from our rover, including multiple camera views, important diagnostic info, visualizers for the arm position, localization, and autonomy, and controls information for the operator. All rover diagnostic and telemetry data, as well as control commands from the base station to the Jetson, will be transmitted over the 900 megahertz band to provide better performance over longer distances with limited line of sight. The video feed and camera captures, which are vital for navigation and the science task, will be sent over the 2.4 gigahertz band. Both antennas on the rover are omnidirectional to allow for flexible control of the rover in any orientation. On the base station side, the 900 megahertz transceiver is omnidirectional, while the 2.4 gigahertz antenna is directional and tracks the rover autonomously using its GPS location. For our autonomy stack, we are using a Z-depth camera as well as ultrasonic sensors for vision, along with IMU, GPS, and wheel encoders for odometry. We use the stereo imagery from the depth camera along with ultrasonic ranges at the corners of the rover to detect untraversable obstacles. These obstacles are fed into our cost map module, which tracks and filters nearby obstacles over time. This cost map is used by our path planner, which uses the dynamic window approach algorithm to select the optimal trajectory to advance towards the goal while avoiding the obstacles. When in range of the goal, we use another computer vision algorithm to detect the tennis ball. Science's aim is to use life detection instrumentation and analyses to determine whether extant, extinct, or no life exists in rock and soil samples. We design five onboard soil tests and will analyze rock samples to determine any forms of life or lack thereof. Soil protein analysis utilizes the reagent and hydrin to detect amino acids by reacting with free amines to produce a deep blue or violet color. Rock sample analysis involves meticulous visual analysis starting with looking for evidence of life such as microbial mats and stromatolites. The University of Waterloo Robotics team would like to thank all of its hardworking members and dedicated sponsors for a great start to the season. We look forward to continuing testing and integration in preparation for URC 2019. See you in Utah!